My name is Smir Mueller, and right now I'm one of the first joint PhD candidates here at the University of Victoria in Canada. I came here after I already had been in my PhD program in Germany at the Free University of Berlin for two years. After that time, I decided I would really like to be able to um, access the North American um, world of academia to know how working there would be, especially after I already had the experience uh, coming from Germany. So I applied at UVic for the joint PhD program. Um, for me, it's an individual program, but as far as I know, there are many programs out there that are more structured. Um, actually, I was really happy that mine was an individual program because this way I could really choose when to go and where to go and um, with um, in what field I would like to um, to specialize. So when I got here um, I started to fulfill the requirements that actually are necessary for a North American PhD after I had already been working on my dissertation in Germany. And uh, doing that here, um, being a student again on the other side of the ocean, um, I found that the experience was quite different from what I was already used to. Um, after the first coursework I did here, I had the possibility to apply for a fellowship at the Center for Global Studies here at the University of Victoria. So after um, TAing and doing my coursework, actually I was um, included in a, a research network um, that I probably will um, have for the rest of my life. Um, and I'm really glad that uh, I had the possibility to make those connections because otherwise um, it's really hard to um, connect out to North America coming from Europe, especially from Germany in the field of international relations. Well, I think I might miss uh, many points uh, talking about the differences between uh, European and North American academia, especially because my experience so far has only been about a year. Um, what I would say is quite different is that the system how to get actually into the profess profession of academia. Um, in Germany, after you graduate from your master's, you're basically not a student anymore. You become a PhD candidate, but you are actually a full-fledged uh, um, member of the academic community, but still you don't know anything about it. And so you're just that uh, well newbie on the field who really does not know where to go. The difference um, looking at North America is that you're still kept a little longer in that student state, um, which has maybe um, also negative sides, but the positive side is that you have way more guidance um, what to expect of the academic field as a vocation and you are eased more into your role as a future teacher and lecturer um, because the connection between the PhD student and the professors, especially the, the advisor for your dissertation, um, is way more communic uh, communicative. Um, that's what I found. It's more on a regular basis in the system itself. And I think um, in North America, professors themselves consider them more themselves more like a mentor than it would be in Germany. So um, I think this experience, considering the system, um, was quite positive. On the other hand, coming from Germany and having been by, well, working uh, by myself on my research a lot, I find that I feel more confident about doing uh, free research in the archives than most PhD students here do. So maybe there's a positive side, and I'm pretty sure of that, in both systems, and that's actually why I would recommend doing a joint PhD, because you basically can get the good of both worlds.